Hello anglers and anglerettes. Here we are. Another episode of the G3 Sportsman. Who is up for a challenge? Sometimes challenges are good. So I wanted to change it up a little bit. So I'm thinking about a challenge. You know, with today's fishing, we have great boats, detailed maps, 2D sonar, down imaging, side imaging. And of course, the big game changer is the live imaging. So you'd think we'd have no problem catching fish. In fact, do they even have a chance against us? Now lots of cases fish don't, but there's a heck of a lot of times when Mother Nature pitches that perfect game and we just can't get a hit. Let me pick a lake that's a big time destination for fishermen and, and have anglers try their luck under certain circumstances and rules. Okay, well I picked Table Rock Lake here in Southwest Missouri. Here it is at 43,000 acres and 800 miles of shoreline coves, fingers, cuts, islands, timber, rock, gravel. Oh, and it's deep, really deep, and clear. So, without further ado, welcome to the first Table Rock Challenge. Okay, the first thing in this challenge I needed was uh, participants. And so this being the inaugural Table Rock Challenge, I think I found the perfect two knuckleheads to start out with. <clears throat> Both of them are bass fishermen, they love bass fishing. But it's gonna be a, a fun episode. This is gonna be one of these to where I, I have picked the place where we're putting in it today is Indian Point here on Table Rock. And it's up to them to catch their fish however they want to go after it and we'll watch them see what they're doing and how they're doing it and hopefully they can catch a, a nice sack of fish hopefully but if they don't it's still an episode so just know that that's part of the table rock challenge so let's introduce you to the participants today all right well first y'all know wes wes has been on the program a long time y'all know that he's a he's a bass fisherman and then we, oh. got, his, we got his buddy lance hello lance loves bass fishing if he's not fishing, he's talking fishing, he's trying to mm -hmm. steal people's spots by looking on videos. <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, you know, so he's but, always thinking about bass fishing. So together with these two, these are our first participants in the Table Rock Challenge. So they're set up good. We've got them in the Sportsman 1910 here. Got the 150 Yamaha, brand spanking new. We've got the electronics. Here we've got the uh, hummingbirds on here for our live, or for our uh, down imaging, side imaging, mapping, everything. We've also got up here, we've got the Garmin right here for live scope. So, no excuses. Let's get this thing started. We're putting in, it's a little foggy this morning, so we'll see how it all works out. There you go, we've got Lance going. Let's do it. Wes going. Welcome We're to ready. the Table Rock Challenge. We're ready. Just came right over to your favorite point, huh? Well, at the time I didn't even realize there was a brush on there. Just, might be some Lance, bass Lance, Lance, throw out here this on top of this tree. Yeah. Out to the right? Yeah. Okay. KGB Legend, 9 inch. <laughs> yeah, it'll catch, man. You'd be surprised. We'll see today if I'm lucky enough. Catch me a big old nine pound. I hope you do. I hope I do too. Big old nine I pound. I really do. I, I hope you do. <laughs> Lord willing. Right at that dead tree. Oh, Scott, get the net! Oh, sorry. <laughs> You should have saw Wes there. He jumped. I had to do it once. Yeah. I won't do it again. Yeah, I, I, you saw how much that I flinched. didn't even move. No, I didn't. <laughs> he didn't even flinch. He's like, nah, good try. No. Good try, though. Especially when you say get the net that we don't have. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's your plan of attack, Wesley? 
We're just covering some water right now. We ain't been here forever, so I'm throwing a crankbait. Is um, this what you do like if you set a tournament? Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, there's no reason. I, I've seen a lot of fish on bait out deeper, so that's probably going to be what we're going to need so to do. So that's in your back pocket. Can't yep. give all the secrets out, though. Just I don't think this. you guys have a one thing that should be considered a secret. I don't either. I think <laughs> I think we're just trying to figure it out, which is okay. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> Dink, but that's okay. It's a good yeah, start. Yeah, a couple with a couple with him. <laughs> there you go, Scott. There you go, first well, fish in the boat. Hey, Scott, what do you think of that? Yeah. Can't say we didn't catch one. What do you think of that, buddy? <laughs> Look at that little toad. There's probably 10 more in there. Right? We'll take it though. Yep. We'll take one off the top to get started. It's a nice one. But I bet there's a hundred of these in there, huh? Mm -hmm. Maybe not. There's pliers all should be in this boat. Yeah, right here. I got them. It's good. Here you go. That's the next one. Okay. So here's a, here's a ball of bait. A lot of times you got to watch it for a second because it looks like there's no fish in it. But if you watch, all of a sudden a little dot will swim out of it. But I'm dropping right behind it here. Look here. I'm going to drop it right on the back side. And then I'll come through them. And a lot of times those fish that are under it, in it, or around it, as soon as you come out of it, they'll come up and hit it. And see, there I come out of it. Oh, got it. Got it. Kentucky. Okay. That's what we're waiting on. This is fish to blow up on top and throw right to it. I think it's a little large now. Got him pegged all weird. Throw more out here too. Hope oh, looking up here and throw it in the cooler. Good job, man. Alright, so no no keepers still. No keepers, but to start. Yeah, we're just trying to figure it out. Okay, really so know. tell us, Lance, in the first hour of the challenge, what have we done? First hour, we have thrown a lot of lures in the water. <laughs> two, caught a couple dinks. Two small fish. A couple small fish. Okay, so they caught two small fish. No keepers, no keepers. yet. No keepers. First hour. So what are you, uh, what are you thinking from this point on after being in the first hour? What are you thinking? I'm thinking. Uh, no place up. No place to go but up. <laughs> yeah, I think that we're gonna catch some fish here. And I'm gonna get back to casting because they're blowing up on top. So maybe it'll become active on top here again. I don't know, Scott. We'll okay. see. There's a lance dropping in, but this is how you, if you've got live scope and you're coming to Table Rock, this is how you're gonna catch them out here suspended is find a ball of bait and uh, run your Kitech through it under them and hope they bite. And that's what just happened with that last fish. And we got a couple fish swimming into this right here on the backside. These, these predator fish, predatory fish, and there's one, there's a big one right over it. Watch okay. this. Got him. Fine. <laughs> Good spot of bass. Good fish. You gotta watch him eat too, that's fun. That was he, was cool. on, he was on a bait ball. We came through the bait ball. And when it came through the bait ball, he turned on it and he came up and ate it. That's how you want them to eat it. Nice spot of bass. You get a lot of these on Table Rock and you think you wanted that one. But uh, they're fun to catch, man. You can catch them in numbers here. If you guys are coming from out of state and you want to fish Table Rock and you want to have fun, these are the guys you want to chase right here. You can come out and catch 50 of these as easy as anything. And some days easy and some days not. But we live scoped that one and uh, he actually wanted to eat. So we're an hour and a half in. We got three fish. I don't know. I don't think that one wouldn't have probably kept. It was right at 15. But oh, he thumped it. Just throwing a little Kitech, a 3.3 Tennessee shad color, real natural color. Guys, I'm just gonna, you know, Table Rock, this is a destination lake. This is something that people from all over the country want to come fish. And I've watched some videos of people coming and fishing and having great days, but I've also watched a lot of people come out here and struggle. So if you're coming here, you're gonna wanna bring something light line. This is seven pound leader to braid. Like I said, a 3.3 inch Kitech, very natural color. This is generally a very clear lake on Main Lake, which is where we're at. 
So if you're coming here, you're thinking drop shot, uh, finesse swim bait. This is about as good a bait as you can have to try to catch numbers on a day on table rock. So we're on our third species, so that's a bonus. We've got a multiplier going here. Anytime you catch a nut, even if he's small, it's our third species. So now we check him off the list. We've got a ball of bait right here, Scott. Look at this. And there's fish. You see the you see the ball of bait, and then you see the rest of the. They're probably all small now too, or maybe some Kentucky's mixed in. See if Lance will land on them here. I'm gonna have to switch my Kitek. He tore me up. Well, we came, we came up on an open slip back there. Don't have it on camera, but I threw this seven inch golden belt glide bait in there. And we had a three, four pound class largemouth right on it. The problem is it, it kind of rolled on me right when I saw him on it. So I had to speed it up to get it back in its cadence. And he stayed on it and he nipped it. So now we're kind of running this pattern, I, I, if you can call it that to see if we can get another one to go. They're, they're trying, they're, they're gonna come in here. We are now in another location. I'll show you guys on the map where we are and we're gonna try a little finesse fishing now. They've tried uh, swim baits, uh, they've tried top water. As you can see, we've got a little bit overcast but it's getting a little brighter. So okay, here we go. Starting hour number four, let's see what the boys do in the inaugural Table Rock Challenge. There's lots of little bait back here flicking. Water's got a little little tinge to it. And I'm throwing the X80 from Mega Bass. It's a finesse jerk bait. So there's a lay down right here. It's a grind, man. You know, I mean, we, we didn't expect anything. Look at all the bait flicking. You see it, Scott? I could probably make another cast and see it, but uh. Well, you got Lancer, Mr. Twister? I got a jig on, a little finesse jig. Nice. Yep, we'll see what happens, man. I think you can do it. I, I want to see a fish caught on that jig. I'd like to catch about 10 on a jig, so we'll see. Table Rock's known for their jig fishing, so. I'm not. <laughs> do you even have a jig, yeah, well, other got, than in your bait shop? I got a jig box. All right, man, oh man, caught one on the tube. Puke tube, they call it. Little guy again, another cutie. Another cutie, see, you want me to start catching big fish? All right, I'll do it, but look, switch over to the tube. It's been a while since so I caught one on the tube, so. All right, look at him. Take him on, put him in the fish tank. <laughs> All right. So that's your fifth fish in the five hours. Yeah, Whew. yeah, my back's hurting. But hey, that was it. That brutal. Was, we needed that one. We did. We needed that one. She's brutal. Lance didn't even believe me. I fall, said, fall transition. Yeah, it's been so long. It's I been said, four I hours. I said, I goes, nah. Uh, you're lying. You're <laughs> lying. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, was the, too. it was the type we thought we'd catch on this right here. It's a small yeah. mouth. Yeah. See, the thing about table rock is you've got small mouth and you've got some really good small mouth fishing here on main lake and then you've got good large mouth fishing if you run up the rivers or main lake and then you've got spotted bass like i like i said earlier so that is something that makes table rock unique is you can catch all three species so, you got something to add there he's good wes is good 
He knows his stuff. You gotta really put in a lot of filler. So I can tell you about my rod. This is the Mega Bass Lamonte rod. <laughs> Hello everybody, Weston Yancey here. We are at my shop here in Nixon, Missouri. Modern Outdoor Tackle. Some of you may or may not know that I own a tackle shop, but you've seen me on Scott's episodes a few times. So this is what I do uh, for a living, uh, along with our media company. But uh, uh, we've got a lot of different crappie tackle in here. We've got a lot of different bass tackle. We've got crappie rods. Um, of course, we've got the ACC lineup you see in Scott's video a lot. We've got their jig heads and all kinds of stuff. And the great thing about it too is if you're not local to Nixon, Missouri or somewhere, you can drive to our store. You can also shop with us online at modernoutdoortackle.com. But uh, it's kind of neat to be able to tie this back into the show because a lot of the stuff we use in the show, you can get here. So I'd love it if you got it from us. Check out this episode and uh, thanks for watching. And now, let's get back to the Taylor Rock Challenge. Oh, there's a little nibble. There's a little nibble. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> a little better. Getting a little bigger. Hold him real close to the camera. Got him. Scott's coaching me. I said, you know what, coach? I need a little... Hey. Here, get closer. <laughs> there you go. That's a, that's a stud right there. That's another one. Hey, I'm adding to the number, you know, adding to the number. We had a couple that couple glide bait fish that came off trees that would have turned our day around. Yeah, that's the truth. They've Wes gone. had a couple bites out deep that we missed. Three, right at the end. Scott was cutting us off right when we started figuring something out. So let me <laughs> let me t let me tell you. We started out, we, we haven't been here, it was foggy. We pulled over here, we got on some bait, we caught some fish schooling. We came over, we caught a couple more fish schooling, watched the meat on live sonar as we were going up to a bank. Tried to glide bait fish a little bit, big one nipped at it out of a dock yeah. we got back over here we find tons of bait fish on the bait we get bit catch a few fish it's time over time's out so well, it's been seven hours and i don't blame him it's been seven hours <laughs> seven six hours. hours i mean come on but hey you I know we haven't three. i haven't fished here in three four months so that's, that's my challenge. that's my excuse the tough, that's the challenge hey there's no shame boys and what y'all oh, did shame. we're shame i mean but y'all was out there you put the time in could have very easily two bites could have changed the whole outlook oh, yeah. of we this day. We saw a couple good fish. So yeah. if we were come, if we were to come back and do it over, what I would say is we would spend more time out deep on the bait and the fish out deep. Well, there you go. Like I told them, I said there's no shame in in you know not catching the fish that you want to or the quality, the size of uh, going and doing a challenge like this is that's what it is. It's a challenge. These boys know the lake. They fish table rock but I chose a part of the lake that they had not been fishing or they didn't know as well. That in holds, that's the challenge. And throughout the year, we'll have some more people coming in and maybe trying different species, people that may have not ever fished Table Rock or whatever. I don't care if you got the best equipment and everything else out there, sometimes these fish just win. And uh, more times than not, that's uh, probably the case. But hey, thanks again for uh, watching, check us out on all of our streaming services, uh, My Outdoor TV, Outdoor Action TV, Instagram, Facebook. Thank you for supporting G3 Boats and Yamaha and all of our sponsors uh, here on the G3 Sportsman. Again, thanks again for staying with us and uh, keeping up with us, keeping up with me and uh, watching me out there. Just remember, keep what you can use, release the rest, and we'll see you out there somewhere doing something fun, again, right here on the G3 Sportsman. Thanks for watching. We might need to come in on the tail end because we were first. We should get the last chance. So, too. You, so you, you, you guys are saying since you did the first one, you need. Yeah. We need redemption. Yeah. Redemption. A redemption we round. Should, the redeem team. We should be able to come out of the losers bracket and at least have a chance for third place. Okay. All right. Well, you're 0 one. So yeah. <laughs>